welcome back to my youtube channel so i've been trying so hard to not do the regular traditional hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel but i don't know that is out of the way you welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i haven't seen you guys in like nine months but if you're new thank you for clicking and i promise you will not be disappointed i have gone ill for like like I said, nine months, but that is because one morning I woke up and my editing software, the Filmora editing software I was using had been upgraded and I could not afford to buy their monetized one or even any other monetized one because I had a lot to do with money. But then, that is out of the way, I've gotten the Filmora Wondershare X, um, the Wondershare Filmora X editing software that I'm going to edit my videos now. So that's out of the way the reason why i didn't do this earlier i'm going to do in another video but for today i'm going to do a new youtuber tag video because i realized that when i started i did not do a new youtuber tag video so that being said let's jump right into today's video my neighborhood is my my neighbors there's there's noise everywhere like this mic is going to pick up a stutter noise but i think that i can't wait for everybody to be quiet i'm never going to film so i would just film um first question what is my name my name is sandra sandra urukudu abama anubrafa i am from Bayosa state so i think that is already evident in my name and then second question where am i from like i said i'm from Bayosa state already so favorite color my favorite color do i have a favorite color i don't think i have a favorite color per se but i like black anything black and i totally love it like it already, it already looks fine if it's black but then recently i'm starting to like you know um bright colors so i'm liking yellow i think i look good on yellow i look good in red i look good on white yes i mean everybody looks good on white and blue i'm staring at one of my blue dresses i bought yesterday because i just saw it and it's a blue check dress i just loved it and i i couldn't even leave it i just had to buy it then three favorite things three favorite things number one has to be food guys i love food like you can buy me with food if anything it's if you're going to take anything from me don't take my food if i share my food with you i like you okay and then number two i love music like i can't do without music i love music especially the old ones i don't know what they sing okay i'm not going to say i don't know what they sing these days but the old ones resonate with me more i love music i don't have a particular favorite genre but i just love music number three has to be movies like they take the bulk of my time when i'm free i just sit at home and binge on movies whatever nollywood hollywood any bollywood i don't do much of bollywood though but you get the drift i really really love music then three things i fear the three things i fear to be very honest number one has to be the nigerian police like i didn't used to have this fear for the nigerian police until recently i grew up and i realized that a lot of things are bad because you know last year october a lot of things happened the nigerian police are my number one fear for whatever reason okay i think a lot of nigerians can relate with this one then number two crawling insects my god anything that crawls just creeps me out okay anything that crawls creeps me the hell out i don't ah you reptiles and cockroaches anything that my fact cockroaches they crawl and they fly they they are they they are just the worst but i don't like crawling insects then number three heavy dogs when i say heavy dogs i mean the real big ones okay i love the small breeds the chihuahua the lassa absolutes i love them the hairy the whatever whichever way they come i really like them because i can play with them and they don't threaten me but the big ones i'm still trying to 
you know get around the big ones especially what what, what are they call the rottweilers those ones they look really really tough they look like they're so tough it's a noise guys but please bear with me they look like they're so tough and the the big hairy cute and cuddly ones i can manage because they're cute so i can't really help it but you see those big rottweilers oh my god <laughs> please i can't even manage those ones then favorite holiday location that has to be bali because the place looks really good is it pronounced bali or bali i don't know but i know you know the place i'm talking about so it looks really serene i would i just want to go there no internet no phone just me and the love of my life just you know dang it dang it, dang it. okay I, okay so three things that make me happy three things that make me happy number one being able to deliver on a job asap so when i say asap i don't mean the literal as soon as possible you know what i mean in time on time i now 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 i just do the job and boom boom everything both moves and all that makes me happy being able to provide for my family my mom and my siblings that makes me so happy like when they when they call me and they want something i'm able to you know give it or provide for them that makes me super duper happy then the third thing just hanging around with my just hanging around with my friends and just just saying you know laughing and all that that really makes me happy too then psychosexual or not psychosexual or not am i psychosexual well i don't know I'm quite vain guys so but yes I like to believe that I am psychosexual. I'm intelligent. I'm as good as they come. Uh huh. Okay. Favorite food. I would say my favorite food is banga soup and stash or ovo soup and stash. Swallow per se. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I eat anything. Like I enjoy any meal. Like I don't have a favorite food. I could just be eating. Just give me anything as long as it's tasting good, man. You you have me. I just i mean the thought of food right now is making me hungry then uh why did i start my youtube channel why did i start my youtube channel so when i was in the university i always wanted to just be in front of a camera and just talk i watched youtube for um i watched youtube a couple of times and i really liked it i like the scenery i like you know giving my opinions on things so i just felt like youtube was the best place to do that and that is what i am currently doing that's why i started and that's why i'm back fighting every obstacle in the name of jesus i studied in the university i'm a lawyer by profession i studied law in the university Delta state university abraka only campus yes so my favorite footwear what is my favorite footwear? It's quite simple. I love my flats. They're very comfortable. And then I love heels. Not too high. I'm not the six incher. Uh, just something really comfortable. Preferably block heel. Uh, and then I love Chelsea boots. Like they just There's something about Chelsea boots that sets my heart on fire. I have one that I got from uh, Shoes by Gerald. It's so nice. It's it's so so beautiful i mean i just I flat heels block heels preferably and chelsea boots those are my favorite footwear. then favorite clothing apparels i love my jeans or my trousers i love trousers i love my t-shirts so trousers and shirts then gowns free normal gowns casual to um casual to uh office yeah casual to official just in between nothing to casual nothing to official just in between that's how i love my who i love who do i love okay at the moment the person i love right now is my roommate <laughs> i know miss again and she's the most amazing person like she's the i i love so many people but i have to just like pick if i tell you i love my family it's like really cliche but i really love your she has she does not know how much of an influence she has since like um 2012 yes january 2012 i resumed 
um, hundred levels. So Euro has been such a backbone. We went to the same law school. We did our NYC. We lived basically. We lived in the same corporate lodge. We rented our first apartment together, and we are still living together. Euro has been such a backbone. She has been such a good influence to me, and she has been such an inspiration to me too. So I am totally. I totally love Iris so much. So I have to make another video to tell you guys how much I appreciate the love of Iris. But for this video, I'm going to move on to the next question being, who do I miss? Now, I miss my family so much. Before now, I used to visit them all the time. Even though I was in Abuja, I visit them all the time. But I can't afford to be taking flights to and fro, um, to and fro uh, Abuja anymore. So... I just wait until I can afford it before I visit them sometimes at the end of the year and stuff so I really really miss them thank God for technology and I can afford to have video calls and phone calls with them but that is really not enough but then that works um, do I believe in love yes I'm such a hard believer of love that <laughs> I don't think I've ever not believed in love I have been heartbroken a couple of times but I still believe in love and when I love I give my all to, to each person and it, it's just it's just in my nature i cannot not believe in love then the direct sign i am a capricorn i was born 8th of january there was one time i was so big on the horoscope that was like 2010 2011 for not anymore all that shit just i mean yeah so goals my goal my goal is to be happy and successful i don't know if this is a, okay if this is a valid goal but i think it's a valid goal for me i just want to be happy and successful to wake up and not really think of any particular thing that i cannot handle that my finances cannot handle so i want to be successful financially career-wise family-wise and just be all around happy then what do i want to wake up to guys i want to wake up to a credit alert telling me uh I want to wake up to a credit alert with a text message following up telling me, Hey baby, I love you. Hope you're good. Uh, do take care of yourself. Go to a spa or something. I'll see you in the evening for dinner. I love you so much. Far-fetched? I don't think so. That can happen. Uh, bonus question. Breakfast in bed. Have I ever gotten breakfast in bed? No? Yes? Wait. As long as we're not counting the times that my family gave me breakfast in bed when I was ill, I have never gotten breakfast in bed from anybody. I mean, look at me. Nobody. You guys, you need to fix up. Like, you, if you're watching, you need to fix up. I've never gotten breakfast in bed. I, I know. Just look at me. Never, ever, not once. Ha! For how? Guys, thinking about it, Naye. Maybe I'm going to organize a breakfast in bed for myself. But then that wouldn't that wouldn't be breakfast in bed, right? But anyways, Sha, that is uh those are the random things about me. How many random things about me? That's like 21 random things about me. If you want to know more things about me, leave a comment in section the comment section below and i am going to make another video telling you stuff about me leave comments and leave questions of things that you want me to tell you about myself and i'm going to do that in another video guys thank you so much for watching this video and like i said if you are a returning subscriber if you, if, you, if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back if you are a new one please don't forget to hit the subscribe button it is so important to me please plus it is free so Please hit the subscribe button. Secondly, don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. Hit that notification bell, that bell right there. Hit it so that whenever I put on videos, you'll be the first person to see. Thank you so much. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I am more active on Twitter so we can interact. That platform is very interactive. It is Sandra Orokodo. Sandra O-R-O-K-O-D-O. -O -O. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.